The chief task in life is simply this, to identify and separate matters so that I can say clearly to myself which are externals not under my control and which have to do with the choices I actually control. Where then do I look for good and evil? Not to uncontrollable externals, but within myself to the choices that are my own. We should always be asking ourselves, is this something that is or is not in my control? Some things are within our power, while others are not. Within our power are opinion, motivation, desire, aversion, and, in a word, whatever is of our own doing. Not within our power are our body, our property, reputation, office, and, in a word, whatever is not of our own doing, In our control is the most beautiful and important thing, the thing because of which even the God himself is happy, namely the proper use of our impressions. We must concern ourselves absolutely with the things that are under our control and entrust the things not in our control to the universe. The content of your character is your choice. Day by day, what you choose, what you think and what you do is who you become. Control what you can control. I can control my emotions, my attitude, my effort every day. While we may not be able to control all that happens to us, we can control what happens inside us. You only have control over three things in your life. The thoughts you think, the images you visualize, and the actions you take. No one saves us but ourselves. No one can and no one may. We ourselves must walk the path. Success at anything will always come down to this, focus and effort, and we control both. You want to change your life? Control the only thing you can control the meaning you give something. Control the things you can control. As for the rest, God bless it all. You can control two things, your work ethic and your attitude about anything. Really, at the end of the day, the only thing you can control is yourself. The only person you can truly educate is yourself. You have to redefine what beauty is to you, so you can't be affected by what people are saying. Life comes with many challenges. The ones that should not scare us are the ones we can take on and take control of. If a person gave away your body to some passerby, you'd be furious. Yet you hand over your mind to anyone who comes along, so they may abuse you, leaving it disturbed and troubled. Have you no shame in that? You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. No person has the power 
to have everything they want, but it is in their power not to want what they don't have and to cheerfully put to good use what they do have. Make the best use of what is in your power and take the rest as it happens. There are two things a person should never be angry at, what they can help and what they cannot. When we are no longer able to change a situation, we are challenged to change ourselves. Everything can be taken from a man, but one thing, the last of the human freedoms, to choose one's attitude in any given set of circumstances, to choose one's own way. You learn to run from what you feel, and that's why you have nightmares. To deny is to invite madness. To accept is to control. It is not he who reviles or strikes you who insults you, but your opinion that these things are insulting. To enjoy good health, to bring true happiness to one's family, to bring peace to all, one must first discipline and control one's own mind. If a man can control his mind, he can find the way to enlightenment, and all wisdom and virtue will naturally come to him. Take control of your consistent emotions and begin to consciously and deliberately reshape your daily experience of life. If you want your children and wife and friends to live forever, you're a fool because you're wanting things that aren't within your power to be within your power and the things that aren't your own to be your own. The fates guide the person who accepts them and hinder the person who resists them. At the end of the day, you can't control the results. You can only control your effort level and your focus. If you focus on what you can't control, you're a little crazy inside, angry and depressed. If you focus most of the time on what you don't have instead of what you do have, you're going to be extremely unhappy. Don't worry about what you can't control. Our focus and energy needs to be on the things we can control. Attitude, effort, focus. These are the things we can control. Your reputation is in the hands of others. That's what the reputation is. You can't control that. The only thing you can control is your character. You can't control how other people see you or think of you. But you have to be comfortable with that. It's only when caterpillarness is done that one becomes a butterfly. That again is part of this paradox. You cannot rip away caterpillarness. The whole trip occurs in an unfolding process of which we have no control. <laughs>